morning everybody well we're gonna work some ground and hopefully we can get some planting done today come along for the ride you know it's, it is a beautiful morning out we're going to uh, work some ground I gotta finish it off with the field cultivator um, I think I'm going to have about 80 acres to plant uh, this afternoon, try and get all that planted, and then we'll switch back over to the disc and open up the rest of the fields in this county. Uh, they're talking rain on Saturday, Saturday afternoon, but we'll see, see how that works out. I did bring the drone today, so there's a couple fields that I'm not, there's no power lines or trees in, so I'm going to attempt to fly the drone while I'm running auto steer on the tractor. I don't know, we'll see. It's either gonna work out or it's gonna turn into a heck of a video when I crash a drone, I don't, we'll see. You know, <clears throat> I'm working up a 10 acre chunk right now on a very busy, popular corner. Um, two downfalls to that, one, this field has to be perfect because other farmers are going to go by, they're going to be looking at it, they're going to be judging you, blah, 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 you guys get it. Two, you have houses over here, busy road, businesses over there, busy road, business there, and then you have houses back here. So there's no place to stop and take a pee when you really got to pee because I haven't had my morning pee. Good thing it's only 10 acres, because the next field I'm going to, there's a lot of woods around. Got to show you what my new find is that I found in the field. Look at that. I could actually use that, probably. The tag on it says it's rated for 8,800 pounds. Might come in handy. We, uh... We haven't had a cultivator in maybe 10 years. Um, so we bought this new cultivator uh, to replace the vertical tillage tool we had. Um, and we love running the cultivator, but it brings so much stuff up from the surface, or up to the surface. It brings up rocks, it brings up these broken off fence poles that, uh, yeah, that would have been a flat tire for sure. Add that to the pile of crap I found. Well, I ran into my first issue. Well, first issue on the field cultivator. I lost a shovel. And it just, the nuts came off and the whole thing fell off. I've got the bolts and the shovel. I just got to go get two nuts. Good thing is, I'm not that far from the farm, farm, or I should say the barn. See those woods right there? I got to walk through those woods, and it comes out at the barn, and then I can find two nuts in the barn and put this thing back on. If you don't run a shovel on there, it's going to wear the shank out, and it makes a big mess. Uh, it creates bigger problems. So, I guess we're going to go on a nature hike. The wheat's actually looking pretty good. There's two turkeys over there. I don't know if you guys can see them. But, at any rate, hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to the barn we go. Who knows, maybe we're gonna find an antler shed in here. I doubt it, but there's a possibility. Well, I found the missing piece. It's way back in there. Guess I gotta crawl my happy can back in there, under there. All right, let's get her done. Just a little word of advice to you young kids. If you ever need to 
crawl under a machine like this. Um, position yourself to where you're not underneath one of these teeth. That way, if something should happen and the hydraulics give out, then the machine will come down around you and not on you. Just a thought. This is not the, not one of my uh, happier positions. I mean, you can kind of see my gut. But hey, this is all about real, realistic, right? And I guess this is not going to work as easy as I wanted it to. I gotta get that nut to start on there. It is uh, it is warm out today. It is a beautiful day. And there's one nut on. Helps if I don't drop the wrench. I did bring out a few extra nuts in case this happens again. That way I have them in the tractor. But we'll see. All right. We are good to go. Back from the planters. We're getting her done. Well, I found another piece of pipe or pole or whatever you want to call it. I'm bound to determine to get a flat tire this year. And by the way, I'm watching Farming Biker. found some more old fence posts and I don't know what else it is, but it's all rusty and sharp edges. Getting quite a pile here in the cab. Well, so far, knock on wood, everything's running smoothly. I've got 65 acres planted so far this evening. I'm gonna do another, I gotta finish this field and probably go to another 20 acre field do that yet tonight and then the planter is caught up to the tillage work so tomorrow I can spray these fields with the pre-emergent spray and then uh, go back to go back to tillage endless cycle well sun's going down on the horizon guess it's time to get rid of these Put on these. Glasses suck. I have chewed through all my food and snacks. Well, yeah, for the most part. I still have a couple peanuts left and a snack pack. I guess the snack pack's what's for dinner. The wind has calmed down a lot. The dust is just kind of lingering around now and hovering, but I think I'm going to end the video here. It's going to be getting dark soon, so I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks. Have a great evening.